Hi friends, today I'll talk about a very important transit which has taken place, uh, Ketu's transit in Virgo, all right, uh, which took place last year. Uh, now, uh, but whenever Ketu is going to transit in Virgo, then what kind of results it's uh, you're going to experience because of this transit? I'll discuss that. Now, friends, uh, Ketu's transit in Virgo, uh, Ketu remains in one particular zodiac sign for 18 months. Now, uh, the, you will experience all these results which I'm going to discuss now. Uh, you will experience it uh, for more than one year, okay, from now. And also, whenever Ketu will transit in Virgo, uh, these results will be experienced, okay, even in future. So now I'll talk about each ascendant. I'll talk about all the 12 ascendants from Aries to Pisces. So what results you can experience because of Ketu's transit into Virgo sign. Now friends, uh, Ketu, uh, you know that Ketu is the planet of, uh, you know, self-realization. It's a planet uh, of moksha or liberation and even redemption. Ketu is also the planet of detachment, okay? Uh, Ketu can show ups and downs, even obstacles, alright? Uh, Ketu is connected to spirituality, to focus, meditation. Also, uh, Ketu also can be connected to victory. Now, Ketu can also show, uh, you know, friends, transformation. Ketu is the planet of transformation in astrology. So what happens it is connected to your past life karmas okay the past life karmas and what knowledge uh, you are carrying uh, you know with yourself because of your past life incarnations what knowledge and experiences you are carrying uh, from past life so these things also are showed by Ketu uh, now quickly I will show you uh, you know how you need to look at Ketu's transit uh, I'll quickly show you with the help of the structure of birth charts okay so that friends it's clear to you that if Ketu uh, you know if you are an Aries ascendant then Ketu is in Virgo then how you know you should look at the uh, uh, look at Ketu's transit if you're a Taurus ascendant how you should look at Ketu's transit I'll quickly show that with the help of a few birth charts okay Okay, friends, now quickly I'll show you the structure of the chart of an Aries ascendant. Okay, this is the structure of the chart of an Aries ascendant. Okay, friends, so here in the first house you have the sign of Aries, obviously. So Ketu will transit in the sixth house in the sign of Virgo. So Ketu's transit will happen in the sixth house. Okay, so from here Ketu will uh, cast its fifth aspect on the tenth house. It's seventh aspect on the twelfth house and Ketu's ninth aspect on the second house. Okay, so that is how we have to look at the aspects and Ketu's position. Suppose we look at the chart of a Taurus Lagna, as you can see, this is the chart chart of Taurus ascendant. First house you have Taurus sign, so Ketu will transit in the fifth house. This Ketu's transit is happening in the fifth house of a Taurus ascendant. From here, Ketu will cast its fifth aspect on the ninth house. Ketu will cast its first, uh, its fifth aspect here, it's uh, on the ninth house. Ketu will cast its ninth aspect on the first house. Ninth aspect on the first house. And Ketu will cast its seventh aspect on the eleventh house. Okay. So these are the aspects of Ketu for Taurus ascendant. Okay, friends. All right. Yeah. Uh, so friends, similarly, we have to look at each of the ascendants from Aries to Taurus, uh, Aries to Pisces. So j just as you have to, you have looked at the structure of a chart of an Aries ascendant. Similarly, you have to look at Ketu's position in Virgo in the chart of each of the ascendants from Aries to Pisces. Okay, friends. All right. Okay, friends. So now we'll talk about Ketu's transit in Virgo what results Aries ascendants are going to experience. Now, if you're an Aries ascendant, then definitely Virgo sign is in your sixth house. Yes, friends. Now, K2 
Ketu will transit in Virgo in your sixth house. All right, that means sixth house is the house of health. Okay, even disease. So Ketu is there, the planet of obstacles, ups and downs. So Aries ascendants during Ketu's transit in Virgo, they need to be very careful about their health. Okay, they need to take care of their health. They need to do uh, okay, even meditation, breathing exercise, or pranayama. So that's very important for their health. And uh, sixth house is also the house of uh, competition. Okay, it is a house uh, of your enemies also. <clears throat> you may feel a little detached uh, from uh, your, you know, even enemies. You may not, uh, you know, be much worried about them. Now, if Ketu is well placed in Virgo, in the sixth house, okay, you have to look. This is the house which is uh, you. You have the sign of Virgo here, so definitely look at Mercury's position in the chart. If Mercury's position is uh, good in the chart, if Mercury is in say Gemini or or even Virgo, if Mercury if it is in Virgo, then definitely it has to be with Ketu. So if Mercury is in a uh, you know is, is in its own sign or friendly sign or if mercury is dispositor say the sign lord the sign in which mercury is placed and that sign lord is well placed in the chart okay so if mercury is dispositor is also strongly placed so we can have we can say that mercury is in good dignity then definitely ketu in the sixth house uh, because it is also naturally the house of mercury even in the chart of the cosmic man so then the person will be able to uh, you know uh, protect themselves from their enemies okay they will be able to protect themselves from their enemies and uh, they will also be able to you know come out of their health problems okay so these things will happen but if mercury uh, is afflicted in the chart and you're an aries aries ascendant then you need to be careful okay you need to be careful uh, you may face a lot of problems uh, because of your enemies or uh, you may also i can say that um, you may also uh, like you know have health problems diseases so you need to be careful so mercury's position is important if mercury is afflicted or not in good dignity then definitely you need to do some remedies of mercury plant uh, you know do some plantation okay uh, so plantation is very good uh, so and uh, you can plant even you know uh, trees saplings then you can also uh, try to be a vegetarian uh, try to uh, you know help uh, those children who want to study so donate something to children who are studying in schools so all these things are very good remedies of mercury all right and uh, yeah i mean be kind to nature uh, then, then definitely you know nature will uh, bless you so yeah so do, do the remedies of mercury very important and the most important remedy of mercury is also meditation okay so that you can concentrate on positive things in life and you can focus on uh, you know what you need to focus on and uh, yeah i mean that will help you to strengthen your mercury so that's very important now ketu in the sixth house sixth house uh, is also connected to your intestinal problems okay so when you have the planet ketu here uh, transiting uh, in virgo into your sixth house then be careful about intestinal problems uh, some problems connected to your colon or colitis okay some problem connected to your digestion also uh, so be very careful if you have ketu in the uh, sixth house for aries ascendants okay so you need to take care ketu is also generally uh, a planet which is connected to stomach uh, stomach uh, problems even it is also connected to the endocrine system okay like uh, like your thyroid glands even diabetes problems so ketu is connected to the endocrine system 
and also to your stomach so all these uh, problems uh, of digestion intestines so be careful so all these he- any of these health issues you may have so if there is any such issue you should seek medical advice and you should also uh, you know you could uh, seek the help of even ayurveda and you should take care of your health very important now ketu here uh, if mercury is well uh, positioned in the chart then definitely you may also have an inclination uh, towards service you may feel like serving people serving the poor downtrodden unprivileged you'll have this tendency to do some charity and help those people who are in need of help okay so you can do all of that now yeah i mean all these results you will experience aries ascendant because ketu is transiting in virgo uh, in your 6th house be careful with your loans okay try to end your loan uh, if you ketu also shows the ending of something so try to end your loans see to it that you don't face problems because of loans okay now from here uh, that is uh, in uh, from this position in the 6th house ketu will aspect your second house and also your 10th house okay and even your 12th house so these houses also will be influenced second house you may be away from your family because of your work or for some reason okay uh, then ketu also gives you a sense of responsibility if mercury is well placed you may also take care of your family but you may be away from them you need to be careful about your speech uh, definitely if ketu is and mercury are well placed then definitely you will uh, be very thoughtful and you will analyze things well before you speak also this will happen there may be some dietary restrictions during this period of ketu's transit in virgo for aries ascendants then also from the aspects what else we can say we can also say that you may get the opportunity to travel to a foreign land this may happen okay traveling to a foreign land uh, then yeah or uh, you may also uh, you know uh, uh, try to repay some loan this may happen you may be interested in spiritual practices this can also happen interested in spirituality spiritual practices definitely during this period it can happen okay then friends uh, what else we can say uh, ketu uh, you may do some research uh, in occult fields of knowledge you may get drawn towards occult fields of knowledge this can happen your intuition also may uh, go high uh, during this period of ketu's transit and uh, you know Virgo in the sixth house, your intuition level also can increase for Aries ascendants. Then uh, you need to be careful about your expenditure. You may try to reduce your expenditure. You need to do that. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, you may face problems even because of too much of expenditure. So try to curtail your expenditure. That is also important. Okay. And then also we can say that uh, uh, you know. uh you will you need to focus on your profession aries ascendants very important to focus on your profession on your work there may be changes in your profession okay changes can come about your profession can transform your life because of your profession you may need to undertake foreign travel this can also happen you may need to undertake foreign travel because of your profession all right uh these things can happen uh yeah i mean so when you have ketu's uh, transit in virgo these uh, results aries ascendants can expect now uh, let's move on to the next ascendant okay friends now let's move on to taurus ascendant taurus ascendant uh, for you uh, you know ketu will transit in virgo in your 5th house okay in the 5th house this will happen what will happen so your intuition level definitely can increase 
okay ketu is connected to your past life karma to also the knowledge which you are carrying from your past life incarnations so you know naturally you may you know uh, develop some skill okay some certain thing may come to you very naturally some skill or you may be inclined towards you know acquiring some knowledge naturally this can happen okay uh, your intuition level uh, also will develop a lot during this period uh, taurus ascendant and uh, you may be drawn towards mystical knowledge okay uh, any secret uh, kind of knowledge a secret of knowledge a hidden knowledge you may be interested in astrology tarot uh, you know your intuition level also can go very high uh, so because uh, you know ketu is now in virgo in the 6th house now uh, friends uh, what else we can say uh, ketu's transit is happening uh, in the house of child also 5th house so your child may be a little Uh, you, uh, you know your child may have to go away uh, f- uh, from you um, they may have to you know your child uh, may go away because of studies or job this may happen getting separated from the child for some reason or those who are you know tr- uh, trying to um, uh, those who want to have a child uh, ketu is the significator of the son or the uh, you know male child also or uh, even a child in general also okay so uh, if uh, you know ketu's dispositor uh, will be mercury obviously okay if mercury is well placed in the chart then definitely uh, you can uh, also be blessed with a child but if mercury is afflicted in the chart in the chart then you can experience uh, problems and challenges in childbirth this can also happen uh, ketu is also connected to uh, you know Uh, surgery wounds injuries also and ups and downs in health also in ups and downs in life so this is the fifth house uh, fifth house is also the house of your stomach so here uh, you need to be careful about the food that you take you need to be careful about your digestion so if you're allergic to certain kinds of food then avoid them okay because ketu in the fifth house your st- you know your stomach uh, may be upset or you may have stomach trouble problems even ulcers may be formed or in indi- that uh, you know digestion problem also uh, there may be there uh, it may be there digestion issues so be careful okay a stomach infection all these things so yeah so you need to be careful then um, any surgery connected to the stomach so that also can happen to some of the natives uh, taurus ascendant now what else we can say that uh, ketu is transiting into your fifth house if you are moving towards any sort of spiritual knowledge spiritual practice sadhana mantra chanting uh, and uh, you know that can enable you to focus on uh, you know uh, focus on gaining concentration you know y- y- your concentration power will increase and you will be able to focus on your work better you can do any so you, you can also move towards mantra sadhana or siddhi you can chant some mantras some divine you know uh, mantras you can chant them some holy mantras they, they can help you to uh, you know f- focus on your life in general they can help you to focus on your inner self so these things will be very good for taurus ascendants during this period okay then um, yeah i mean uh, y- you should try to acquire knowledge you should uh, try to even uh, you know visit places of worship uh, you know do some religious practices or spiritual practices during this period of ketu's transit in your 5th house it will give you very good results okay it can also make you uh, you know prosperous in life it can give you a sense of direction in life so it will be very good for taurus ascendants so from the 5th house ketu will aspect your 9th uh, house ketu will aspect your 1st house okay first we'll talk about the these two aspects so ketu's aspect on the 9th house uh, father's health may uh, you know uh, undergo ups and downs uh, so yeah this can happen 
सो योर फादर नीड्स टू बी केयरफुल अबाउट हिज हेल्थ ओके देन ऑल्सो योर फादर ऑल्सो कैन बी एंगेज इन स्परिचुअल प्रैक्टिस रिलीजियस प्रैक्टिस मे बी और हेल्थ इशूज योर फादर मे सफ़र फ्राम देन वॉट एल्स वी कैन से फ्रेंड्स वी कैन से दैट यू मे गेट दी ऑपरचुनिटी टू अंडरटेक फॉरन ट्रैवल ओके दिस कैन ऑल्सो हैपन देन यू मे ऑल्सो बी इंटरेस्टेड इन विजिटिंग प्लेसिस ऑफ वर्शिप और यू मे बी इन टू सम रिलीजियस प्रैक्टिस यू मे मूव टूवर्ड्स यू मे डू अ लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च इन ऑर्डर टू गेन हायर नॉलेज यू मे डू रिसर्च इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑल्सो केतुज एस्पेक्ट ऑन द फर्स्ट हाउस वील शो दैट योर योर लाइफ इन जनरल मे गो थ्रू अ लॉट ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन्स योर होल लाइफ एज अ होल मे अंडर गो अ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड ओके यू मे बी इंटरेस्टेड इन हिडन मिस्टिकल नॉलेज इन सीक्रेटिव नॉलेज यू मे बी इंटरेस्टेड इन रिसर्च इन्वेस्टिगेशन दिस कैन हैपन you may be a little detached from other people from society during this period you may love isolation also okay you need to do some meditation breathing exercise and you need to focus on your work see to it that you don't remain confused okay uh, so uh, your confusion will go away when you learn to focus on your work and when you find a sense of uh, direction in life okay then all confusion will disappear then uh, you need to be careful about your health also okay health also is some ups and downs may happen some surgery so be careful about your health in general okay uh, now uh, also we can say that from here uh, from the 5th house ketu will aspect your 11th house so you may feel a little detached from your social circle okay so this may happen that is as i told you you may love isolation okay you may also go away from your elder siblings this can happen if mercury is uh, well placed in the chart then you will be dutiful towards your elder siblings also so these results taurus ascendants uh, can is expect okay so this is a very good period for you to undertake some research some in depth study all right now let's move on to gemini ascendants gemini ascendants uh, ketu will transit in virgo you know into your fourth house gemini ascendants fourth house of the mother so mother's health may undergo ups and downs so you need to take care of your mother your mother may uh, you know go into spiritual uh, or religious practices okay then you may be you may feel distanced from your mother or you may physically get separated from your mother this can also happen then you may uh, at times you may feel that uh, there is some lack of mental peace within the four walls of your home so you may feel detached uh, from your home uh, you may feel like going to some other place and staying there away from the mother away from your own house you may have such thoughts during this period so do some meditation if you have to stay in your own house only and there is no way in which you can go somewhere else then uh, you know then you have to do some meditation you have to do uh, you know some do engage yourself uh, keep yourself engaged in some sort of in depth study very important try to acquire knowledge okay fourth house is also connected to your chest to your heart even lungs uh, so be very careful some heart lung problem some breathing difficulty may happen asthma issues and all so what you need to do is you need to do meditation and main thing you need to do breathing exercise very important do breathing exercise okay that's very good for asthma and other lung related issues even heart problems okay and for uh, heart problems also you need to be careful uh, you know see to it that you don't uh, have bad cholesterol so take care of your heart take care of your lungs your respiratory system even the heart circulatory system so be very careful so you need to uh, do breathing exercise if there is any issue uh, connected to the heart or lungs immediately you should seek medical attention okay or uh, ayurveda the help of ayurveda 
now uh, also what we can say that uh, you may also ketu has come to the fourth house okay uh, so it is very important for you to be engaged in some religious or spiritual practice within your own home that will give you peace of mind or be engaged in some study so acquire some in depth knowledge regarding any subject matter you may be interested in you know uh, in the fourth house maybe if you fourth house is the house of peace of mind if you uh, study astrology if you study any of the occult fields of knowledge you may gain peace of mind this can happen okay some investigation in depth study be engaged in uh, constructive things uh, you know uh, be engaged in in depth study that will give you peace of mind all right uh, within your house also uh, you know you may feel isolated this can happen so as i told you turn to divine energies turn to meditation that will help you now from here in the fourth house ketu will aspect your eighth house and also your 12th house first we'll talk about these two aspects then we'll talk about the seventh aspect now ketu will aspect your eighth house so yeah you can be interested in occult knowledge in any sort of hidden mystical knowledge okay then uh, ketu will aspect your eighth house uh, ketu can also show suffering pain injuries accidents surgeries so be careful take care of your health you may be distanced from your in-laws or your spouse's family this can happen or you may have quarrels with them okay during this period uh, so do some meditation it will help you okay you set out in search of uh, you know in search of your own self be in quest of self realization that will help you so that do some meditation and also uh you know you should do some charity so that you can re- remove the suffering of other people be charitable to them if you are charitable to the poor and downtrodden then you'll be blessed by ketu during this period of transit also i can say that uh, there may be some problems in your sex sex life uh, there may be some problems uh, in your uh, you know in the Uh, intimate relationship that you share with your spouse so uh, there may be some issues you know uh, with your spouse when it comes to uh, you know maintaining an intimate physical relationship so these problems may happen okay uh, with your uh, spouse or with your partner so you need to sort out these problems uh, okay as much as possible uh, maybe uh, you know at times you need to travel uh, go somewhere uh, you know uh, with your spouse or life partner you need to you can undertake some travel uh, so maybe that will improve your sexual life that can also happen now uh, ketu's aspect uh, will also fall on the 12th house so you may be interested in spirituality you may Uh, you need to be careful with your expenditure try to curtail your expenditure believe in charity do some charity help the poor okay uh, ketu's transit into your 12th house so your intuition power it's all happening in the 12th house 8th house na aspects are falling uh, on the 8th and 12th house so your intuition power will increase so definitely you can acquire some hidden knowledge mystical knowledge okay so all these things can happen then uh, what else we can say uh, you may get the opportunity to undertake foreign travel uh, you know you may to get the opportunity to travel to a foreign land this can also happen uh, then friends uh, also uh, now ketu seventh aspect will fall on your 10th t- house so you need to focus on your work on your profession your profession may undergo some transformation okay there may be changes in your profession but you may be you should be res- ready to embrace all those changes okay and you need to be regular in your work you need to do you need to be disciplined in your professional life if you are disciplined if you are regular if you are methodical then you will rise in your profession uh, now let's move on to uh, you know 
cancer ascendants okay uh, for cancer ascendants this transit uh, ketu's transit in virgo will happen in their third house okay for cancer ascendants in the third house of your younger siblings so your younger siblings life may undergo some ups and downs uh, your younger siblings health also may undergo ups and downs uh, you need if mercury is well placed in the chart then definitely you will take care of your younger siblings though you may be physically away from them or uh, you know but you will take care of them this will happen and your relationship will improve but if mercury is ill placed and not in good dignity then there may be quarrels with your younger siblings then uh, also uh, third house is the house of your efforts if mercury is not well placed in the chart you should do remedies for mercury so if mercury is not well placed then if ketu is transiting uh, in virgo in your third house you may be confused you know uh, along which direction you need to make efforts so that you can do well in your life so you will be confused third house is the house of your efforts okay will power courage so you don't know now uh, along which direction you need to make efforts because ketu is headless it can confuse you but if mercury is more or less well placed or if you do the remedies for mercury then you will get a sense of direction in life okay and you will be able to make the right uh, choice and you will know wh how what sort of efforts you need to make okay so your communication skills also can improve if mercury is well placed and you can do any sort of analysis because after all third house is also naturally the house of mercury you can do any sort of analysis very well investigation in depth study research in mystical knowledge hidden knowledge you can do very well in technology so all these things will happen okay so yeah if mercury is well placed in the chart you may undertake short travels also during this period okay now ketu is the flag of victory so you can ketu can enable you to gain victory in your field whichever field you are associated with whether it is the field of sports whether it is the field of acting mimicry uh, whether it is a field of writing journalism uh, any field you may be connected to ketu will help you to you know become successful if mercury is well placed and you will be able to do that with the help of your efforts but if mercury is not so well placed and if third lord is also afflicted then you may be confused which direction i need to follow in life which path i need to follow so seek the guidance of some teacher some guru seek their guidance okay some astrologer seek counseling that will help you now from the third house ketu will aspect your 7th house and also 11th house okay ketu's aspect will also fall on the 9th house first of all 11th house uh, let's talk about ketu's aspect on the 7th house so there you may be distanced from your spouse from your partner okay uh, this may happen uh, some uh, problems uh, getting detached from your life partner some ups and downs in your independent business this can happen then also your you need to be careful about your father's health because aspect on 9th house so father's health may undergo ups and downs uh, then a father also father's life also uh, may go through certain ups and downs then uh, you need to be dutiful towards your father very important though you may be away from your father and uh, also uh, what will happen you may be interested in religious practices you may travel to different places of worship this can happen okay uh, you may do some research and acquire higher knowledge this can happen also uh, then ketu's aspect on the 11th house you may feel a little detached from your uh, social circle this can happen okay uh, you may feel isolated even when you are in the company of your uh, okay uh, of people uh, in the social circle you may feel detached from them so you may uh, be more interested in uh, you know staying all by yourself in isolation 
so this can happen okay uh, then what else we can say friends um, uh, you may be a little distanced from your elder siblings as well but you need to be dutiful towards them now let's move on to uh, the next ascendant okay the next ascendant is uh, obviously and now we'll talk about virgo ascendants so sorry leo ascendants leo ascendant the transit of ketu in virgo will happen in your the transit of ketu in virgo will happen in your second house okay second house for leo ascendants so uh, be a little careful about your speech okay uh, see to it that you um, you know uh, don't hurt others because of your speech see to it that you don't enter into quarrels and fights because of your speech uh, if mercury is well placed in the chart then then definitely leo ascendants will think well before speaking they will analyze any matter deeply before speaking up they will do that okay so their spe speech also will be very thoughtful now um, then if mercury is well placed you may be distanced from your family but you will be dutiful towards them you will have spiritual uh, you know connection with them though you may be away from them uh, but if mercury is not well placed then you may have quarrels with your family members problems uh, in relationship with your family members okay if mercury is well placed you will be able to earn wealth also in due course of time if you focus on your profession and work but if mercury is not well placed then you will have challenges in earning money and accumulating wealth also you may go through you may have certain dietary restrictions okay you may uh, not be able to have certain food if it is not good for your health don't have try to be disciplined in the matter of food intake and food and drinks try to be disciplined uh, you know in that matter it's very important okay you need to be uh, uh, very uh, yeah i mean uh, take food in adequate quantity at regular intervals of time that will enable you to remain healthy now from the second house uh, for leo ascendants ketu will aspect your 6th house uh, also it will aspect your 10th house and the 7th aspect of ketu will definitely fall on the 8th house so we'll talk about ketu's uh, aspects on these houses and you know what results leo ascendants can get now what will happen is that because of ketu's aspects in these uh, on these various houses Uh, friends we can say that you have to be careful about your health also uh, you need to be careful about uh, certain diseases uh, connected to intestines intestinal problem digestion problem also okay uh, then uh, or also uh, you need to be careful about uh, any sort of disease which can be connected to uh, your uh, you know the ketu is aspecting even your 8th house so 8th house some surgery connected to the reproductive organs and all so be careful this can happen okay so ketu's aspect on the 10th house uh, here again knees so be careful about the knees and joint pains in the knees and all joint pain in the knees so all these things wherever ketu's aspect will go you need to be careful about health ketu is sitting in the second house so be careful about if you have any tooth problem uh, okay so immediately see a dentist and you know uh, uh, get rid of that tooth problem uh, otherwise you will encounter problems in wealth in accumulating wealth so whenever there is a tooth problem try to get that fixed now uh, also you need to be care you you may be interested in some service okay uh, uh, during this period if mercury is well placed you may be interested in serving the poor and downtrodden you may be you may turn very kind towards pet animals or animals in general so that's very good uh, then uh, what else we can say friends uh, that uh, you may also uh, be careful about loans okay see to it that you don't suffer because of your loans and all 
if you have already taken some loan try to finish up that loan okay leo ascendants then also uh, we can say that uh, you need to uh, you may de develop interest in occult field of knowledge and some acquiring some hidden knowledge uh, you may be you may develop interest in technology in depth study you may love uh, to be isolated at times and during this period you may also uh, believe in secrecy you may uh, have a secret life you may you may become very secretive or mysterious by nature also uh, very philosophical you may become uh, or very you may be into some spiritual practices uh, do some sadhana do some meditation that will help you and then you need to focus on your work your work uh, may undergo changes uh, okay ups and downs but it's your professional life which will bring about a transformation in your life as well so need to focus on work you may, you may need to undertake foreign travel because of work as well changes will come about at your workplace this can happen or some break in profession can also happen now let's move on to virgo ascendant virgo ascendant definitely ketu will transit in your first house okay transiting ketu transiting in the first house your entire life will undergo transformation okay you will definitely see or go through a lot of ups and downs during this period of ketu's transit but they are take them positively in your stride uh, they can bring about a positive transformation in your life if you really have a sense of direction in life then definitely uh it will happen for your good and you need to just focus on your work okay uh, so ketu is headless so uh, even virgo ascendants during this period of transit they may be confused they may feel directionless if mercury is not well placed in the chart okay do remedies for mercury you will find a sense of direction in life so make efforts consistent efforts along that direction and you will be able to attain the flag of victory definitely in due course of time you may be interested in occult knowledge hidden knowledge mystical knowledge you may be in interested in secret investigation in technology you may be interested in all eight thousand matters you may turn religious also during this period and you may also uh, you know uh, love to focus on your work just you need to focus do some meditation breathing exercise your health may undergo ups and downs okay so you need to be very disciplined in your day to day life maintain a proper daily routine that's very important okay so virgo ascendants uh, your entire life can undergo a transformation now because ketu is there so be very dutiful be a uh, very um, you know what should i say be very disciplined if you are disciplined if you are doing some work regularly on a daily basis repetitive work uh, doing your job regularly doing your work regularly with discipline okay uh, then definitely ketu will give you success during this period all right uh, it can make you very traditional also okay you will uh, develop uh, respect you will have respect for traditional values your culture this can happen now uh, also from the first house definitely ketu will aspect your fifth house ketu will aspect your seventh house and your ninth house so all these houses all these areas of your life will be influenced so for virgo ascendants you may be away from your child this can happen you may experience problems in childbirth if mercury is well placed in the chart or if the fifth lord is also well placed then definitely uh, you can conceive a child or you can have a child otherwise there may there may be challenges in childbirth okay and then uh, you may be interested in acquiring knowledge some hidden mystical knowledge this can happen you may be interested in doing some mantra sadhana this can also happen then uh, you may be distanced from your partner during this period somehow physically you may feel separated and distanced from your partner okay so this can happen uh, you may experience uh, challenges or uh, in your business this can happen uh, so yeah i mean you need to really focus on your work very well and you may undertake travel because of your business this can happen 
then also friends uh, we can say that your father's health may undergo ups and downs uh, your father's life too so you need to take care of your father your father may be distanced from you they may be away from you uh, or with you but uh, even if they are with you your father's health may undergo ups and downs or your father might be away from you also so you need to be dutiful towards your father very important uh, you you should travel to uh, places of worship religious worship you do that it can also give you peace of mind okay so now let's uh, you may also definitely focus on acquiring some higher knowledge you may be interested in higher education higher studies you may uh, try you may you know during this period you may be interested in uh, you know exploring some new field of higher knowledge this can also happen now let's move on to uh, the next ascendant that is libra ascendants okay libra ascendants for you ketu will transit in virgo in your 12th house okay so definitely your intuition level can increase okay it will enhance your intuition level you may be interested in spirituality spiritual practices you may get the opportunity of foreign travel okay uh, then uh, after foreign travel you may also think about foreign settlement this can happen then uh, uh, libra ascendant people uh, you may uh, it's happening in your 12th house so you may have certain issues when it comes to bed pleasures you may have certain problems in uh, okay attaining bed pleasures with your partner this may happen okay uh, during this period you should actually uh, do some spiritual practice that will help you a lot you should do meditation breathing exercise and so on do some charity help the poor and downtrodden curtail your expenses okay uh, focus on some smart investment do some charity uh, help the needy so all these things will help you during this period libra ascendants from the 12th house definitely now ketu will aspect your uh, from the 12th house it will aspect your 4th house it will aspect your 6th house and also it will aspect your 8th house okay so since ketu's aspect is falling on your 4th house also 8th house so your intuition level definitely during this period can increase so be very careful before making any decision whether in business whether in your uh, in the case of marriage whether in uh, any life decision be very careful because now in your intuition level is going higher and higher so uh, what you need to do you need to think very carefully before making any decision if mercury is well placed in the chart then your intuition will really help you but if mercury is not well placed in the chart then you may be confused and you may end up making some wrong decision in your life okay so you, you need to be very careful during this period now uh, friends your mother's health also uh, libra ascendant people your mother's health may undergo ups and downs uh, you may be distanced you may feel distance that you're distanced from your mother this can happen but you need to take care of your mother all right uh, you may go away from your home or homeland during this period you may travel to some other place uh, then also we can say that uh, you need to be careful about uh, you know your health overall health okay protect yourself against injuries accidents uh, or any surgeries so be careful about your health in general intestinal issues uh, digestion issues endocrine system problems be careful okay uh, also uh, i can say that uh, ketus uh, you know we are talking about one more aspect which will fall on the 8th um, house so interest in hidden knowledge occult knowledge okay some surgery may happen so be very careful okay uh, then you may also love isolation during this period of time uh, you may love to do some meditation so that is very important okay you may uh, go away from your in-laws or spouse's family uh, some problems in your sexual life with your partner may happen okay so go away from your partner for some time during this period of transit you may go away from your partner uh, go away to some other place to you may be to your parents place 
uh, you know and again uh, try to uh, get together later on uh, after maybe this period of transit is over okay this also you can do because uh, you know some problems you may encounter in your sexual life this can happen okay uh, now let's uh, move on to uh, you may be very secretive also about your sexual life this can also happen uh, now let's move on to the next ascendant that is scorpio ascendants okay for scorpio ascendants ketu will transit in virgo into your 11th house 11th house of elder siblings social circle you may uh, you know get detached from your social circle for some reason or even from your elder siblings if mercury is well placed you will be dutiful towards your uh, elder siblings okay you may love isolation you may feel isolated even when you are in the midst of social circle this can happen that means that you have a desire or some quest for knowledge within you you want to undertake some research some in depth study that is very good you should undertake some in depth uh, study do some research do meditation that will help you a lot and focus on research focus on any sort of in depth study that will help you to gain peace of mind okay and uh, at times you know friends even isolation is bliss and it is a bliss actually when you know uh, what you need to do in isolation when you know how you can use your time or uh, spend your time productively when you are in isolation then isolation is a blessing okay it can help you to uh, you know undertake self introspection it can help you to attain self realization through meditation through spiritual practices okay now uh, so Uh, you may encounter ups and downs in your uh, income that may happen friends because ketu is now in the house of income the 11th house okay so some ups and downs in the inflow of money this can happen so uh, yeah you just need to be regular you need to be disciplined okay friends scorpio ascendants uh, As, as i told you now uh, because uh, you know ketu will be in your 11th house okay so yeah i mean uh, 11th house is uh, in the naturally you have the sign of aquarius in the 11th house aquarius uh, and 11th house is also signified by uh, saturn and jupiter so it is definitely the house of knowledge and even research okay so you should undertake some uh, you know uh, research and uh, you should uh, move towards acquiring uh, some hidden knowledge or move towards technology that will help you now uh, from the 11th house okay for scorpio ascendants ketu will aspect your from the 11th house it will aspect your 7th uh, house and 3rd house definitely okay the 7th house 3rd house and also your 5th house so on the basis of all these aspects ketu's aspect on the 3rd house ketu's aspect on the 5th and 7th so what we can say now uh, your siblings younger siblings life will undergo ups and downs you may be distanced from your younger siblings if mercury is well placed in the chart then definitely you will be dutiful towards your younger siblings this will happen okay uh, then friends uh, also i can tell you that uh, mm, you will uh, you know uh, if mercury is well placed then with the help of your communication skills you'll be able to you know uh, do very well you'll be a very good uh, counselor you can do a very good counseling uh, and your communication skills will help you to do that okay now uh, you may undertake short travels also during this period then uh, you may be away from your child this can happen uh, or uh, you know your, your child uh, you may experience challenges in childbirth uh, or if mercury is well placed and fifth lord is well placed then you may also be blessed with a child and then you may be anyway interested in knowledge and acquiring knowledge during this period you should focus on knowledge Uh, and skills 
then uh, you will also be feel a sort of detached from your spouse or partner this can happen feeling a, you know kind of detached from spouse or partner so yeah uh, at times uh, you may undertake it's better if you undertake some foreign travel with your spouse or partner that will improve your bond your relationship with your spouse or partner or at times go away from your spouse or partner physically go, get separated maybe go to your parents house or stay uh, away from your partner for some time that will also improve your relationship now your spouse also might be engaged in some spiritual practices so that will be good for your relationship now uh, let's uh, move on to uh, the next uh, ascendant all right now we'll move on to the results of uh, ketu's transit in virgo for sagittarius ascendants all right okay sagittarius ascendants this transit of ketu in virgo will happen in your 10th house yes okay so sagittarius ascendants uh, ketu's transit in virgo in the house of profession house of your karma all right so that means uh, you will also when ketu is there no ketu makes you analyze things so uh, you will also deeply analyze your actions during this period of time okay uh, you will review and analyze your actions whatever actions and karmas your uh, you know engaged in all right this is the house of profession where ketu has transited into in the sign of virgo so you will tend to be disciplined in your profession and you have to be actually if you're not disciplined in your profession if you're not regular and methodical or goal oriented what will happen then you will encounter problems and conflicts with people in your professional field uh, or at your workplace uh, you may enter into conflicts with superiors seniors with the management so you will have uh, you know you will encounter obstacles in your work so it is very important for you to be very disciplined and methodical be be uh, you know maintain regularity maintain discipline in your work and uh, friends i would say that uh, you know there will be changes upheavals in your profession and uh, those changes that will come about in your professional life they will also go a long way to transform you as an individual uh, okay they will bring about a lot of transformation even in your life in general all right so whatever changes or challenges you know you face at your work place you know you should take them positively take them in your stride positively be disciplined be methodical okay and uh, believe in repetitive work also believe in um, uh, you know setting small goals for yourself and attaining those goals and targets meeting them every day you know uh, kind of uh, meeting uh, small deadlines on a regular basis so be very target oriented over a period of time you will do well in your profession and your profession will be bring about a positive transformation in your life okay be careful don't enter into conflicts with superiors and seniors at the workplace all right and uh, friends i would also say that uh, people who uh, have uh, you know this uh, i mean i was i'm talking of sagittarius ascendant people uh, you know if you uh, kind of uh, if you remain disciplined focus if you do a lot of research regarding your work the more you do research about your work the better you will do in your professional life okay and that will also enhance your public image your social image okay so you should keep all these things in mind now from the 10th house ketu's aspect will also fall on the second house ketu's aspects will fall on the second house on the 6th house and also the 7th aspect of ketu will fall on the 4th house so all these areas of your life also will be influenced by ketu there will be ups and downs in your wealth sometimes you will be able to accumulate wealth sometimes it may be difficult or challenging for you to accumulate wealth this can happen okay then you may be distanced from your family 
all right but if mercury is well placed in the chart and if the second lord is well placed then you will be dutiful towards your family uh, you need to be careful about your speech okay you should analyze and think deeply before speaking up all right and uh, do not hurt anybody with your speech and there could be some restrictions in your diet also okay that also may be there also i can say your mother's health it may undergo ups and downs you need to be dutiful towards your mother even if you are away from your mother you may feel that there is a lack of peace of mind within the four walls of your house okay so you may want to travel you may want to go away from your home maybe traveling to some other place uh, during this ketu's transit could give you peace of mind could enable you to find a sense of direction in life could enable you to focus better on your work yes in life this can happen also i would say that um, what other things i can tell you uh, ketu's aspect also will fall on your sixth house so be careful about intestinal problems endocrinal problems uh, be careful about um, your uh, you know your digestion system so uh, you need to be careful about that be, be careful about your health overall that's very important you know uh, you know uh, hope you will not suffer from you know protect yourself may you be protected from injuries wounds and even surgeries so be careful all right Uh, you may also uh, you know during this period you may if ketu is well placed and if mercury also is well placed you may develop uh, you may have a desire to uh, you know serve people uh, you may believe in charity helping the poor and downtrodden you should do that that will go a long way in making you successful and happy in life now let's move on to the next ascendant okay so that's all about Sagittarius ascendants now we'll talk about Capricorn ascendants Capricorn ascendants Ketu will transit into your 9th house the 9th house of fortune okay everyone is so very excited about the 9th house of fate and even destiny so here ups and downs in your fortune at times you get lucky at times you feel luck is not favoring you okay but never mind ketu wants you to be disciplined okay if you are really working hard in 9th house is the house of knowledge if you are going you know if you're making efforts to acquire knowledge if you're undertaking in depth study then ketu will give you very good results if it's in the 9th house where it naturally feels very comfortable and powerful ketu can make you very religious when it comes to the 9th house now capricorn ascendants you may think of religious worship religious practices you may travel to a place of worship okay ketu in the 9th house can also enable you to undertake foreign travel your father's health may undergo ups and downs relationship with your father also it could be at times a little stressful or there could be some conflicts be careful even if there is difference of opinion you need to be dutiful and you know caring towards your father that's very important now father's life also can undergo some transformation father's health also may undergo uh, some changes so you need to be watchful about your father's overall well being you may be distanced or separated from your father even all right during this period now um, friends you may be interested in higher knowledge higher studies you may pursue higher education okay you will do very well if it is connected to ketu or in any field of higher education if you are ready to be focused if you are willing to um, really study with concentration and if you are really willing to undertake in depth study then definitely you will do well in higher education okay so yeah uh, and you may also be interested in studying about the religious texts and scriptures that also can happen and you know you may feel like going deep into religious texts and getting the substance out of them okay now from the 9th house ketu will aspect the 5th house the 1st house okay and ketu's aspect will also fall on the 3rd house so your overall life will undergo transformation during this period of ketu's transit 
in Virgo. You may be interested in mystical knowledge, hidden knowledge, occult knowledge. You may be interested in studying about religion. You may be interested in technology, all eight thousand matters also. You may be interested in uh, okay discovering something hidden through research, secret investigation. You may feel a little uh, uh, if Ketu is not, I mean, is under affliction or if Mercury is not well placed in the chart, then you may feel lost and confused and directionless as well. So that is why you need the guidance of some guru or teacher or astrologer who can show you the path and give you a sense of direction in life. All right then uh, friends uh, you need to find your sole purpose the purpose of your life and then you'll be able to focus on uh, you know your goal in life that is very important if you really focus on your goal you will be able to attain the flag of victory and also i can say that you will be interested in acquiring knowledge okay during this period it can happen you, if you are trying to uh, you know go towards a higher education or even college education or any sort of education you may also encounter challenges if mercury and ketu are not so well placed if they are afflicted somehow you may undergo challenges in higher in, uh, in attaining education this can also happen some obstacles you may have to encounter uh, in attaining education all right but if you are trying to uh, uh, you know uh, gain knowledge regarding uh, anything which is mysterious hidden uh, like astrology tarot even psychology uh, these fields of study can give you very good results actually now uh, you may also uh, believe in uh, chanting mantras okay you may believe in prayers and connecting with the divine you may believe in worship during this period as well and also um, i can say that uh, you know you may uh, even be distanced from your child or uh, you may you know have obs uh, you know experience obstacles in childbirth but if uh, ketu's aspect is benefic and if the fifth lord is powerful then you may also be blessed with a child if you have a child your child may go away from you this can happen due to some reason okay now also i would say that your siblings your younger siblings their life also may undergo ups and downs they may have to face challenges in life you may be distanced from your younger siblings if mercury ketu are more or less well placed then definitely i would say that i mean ketu's dispositor is obviously mercury if mercury is well placed then definitely you your relationship with your siblings younger siblings also will be good and you will be dutiful and loving towards them okay now but yeah the, your younger siblings life uh, lives may uh, you know have they may have to go through ups and downs in their life okay so yeah you really need to support them morally emotionally okay now let's move on to the next ascendant which is aquarius ascendants aquarius ascendants okay Ketu will transit in Virgo in your 8th house, Aquarius Ascendants. All right. All right. That means in the house of uh, transformation, the planet of transformation is there. It's a house of secrecy. Uh, you have planet Ketu. So you will definitely be interested in occult knowledge, mystical knowledge or a technology, anything which is hidden, secretive, mysterious. You will try to uncover the truth. OK, you will do research. You will do uh, engage in in-depth study. OK, that can also happen. And uh, yeah, I mean, also I can say that you will become very secretive and mysterious by nature. OK. Uh, you can become a secret agent you may do well as a detective also uh, you may you will do very well in any field which is connected to investigation when it comes to your sexual life with your partner there could be some problems some obstacles you could enter into conflicts with your partner regarding your uh, sexual life okay so you may the the intimate relationship that you share with your partner that intimate relationship uh, may undergo uh, upheavals or may uh, you know upheavals that means there may there'll be ups and downs in your uh, 
of intimate relationship with your partner okay at times you may be somehow able to uh, connect with them at times you know you may not be able to connect with them uh, intimately or on a physical level uh, so yeah so sexual life also uh, may undergo lots of ups and downs you may be secretive about your sexual life as well you may keep certain secrets you may also you know not be willing to say everything or say certain things about uh, your a sexual life uh, to your partner you may be very secretive about your sexual life as well this can happen a difficulty or problems in sexual compatibility with your partner this also can be seen okay and uh, yeah so friends you may get feel physically you may get physically detached from uh, even your partner this can happen so during this period of ketu's transit in your 8th house aquarius ascendants it is better if you um, do some uh, you know meditation it is better uh, if you are busy with some research or in depth study then take a break uh, you can tell your partner that you need a break okay so maybe uh, after your your research or your work or study is over you you can uh, assure your partner that after that once again you will be together so that can also help you can also travel with your partner you, you are in a committed relationship or in a marital relationship so you can uh, travel with your spouse and you can you know stay together somewhere uh, you know in a foreign place in a different place that could be good for your sexual life also that's what i can say uh, this uh, period uh, of transit in the 8th house can bring about a lot of transformation in your life definitely okay so ketu will aspect the house of wealth also so ups and downs in your wealth sometimes you will be able to accumulate money sometimes it will be difficult for you to accumulate money okay so you need to be very regular disciplined and focused on work all right you may be distanced from your family okay be careful with your speech don't hurt anyone when you speak before speaking you need to analyze things carefully if ketu is giving you good results if mercury is well well placed you will deeply analyze matters before speaking up okay and there could be some restrictions in your diet as well also i can say that um, uh, your mother's health may also because of ketu's aspects Uh, on the fourth house your mother's health may undergo ups and downs you may be distanced from your mother but you need to be caring and responsible towards your mother be dutiful towards your mother and you may also feel like traveling to a different place to a foreign place you may feel like going away from your homeland because even within your house you may feel there is some lack of peace of mind you may feel isolated within the house so you may feel like traveling so if you get an opportunity to travel to a different place you should travel otherwise if you are staying at your own house then do uh, engage yourself in meditation in some spiritual or religious practice that will definitely enable you to calm down also ketu's aspect will be on the 12th house so your intuition level will definitely you know be enhanced during this period of transit you will also get an opportunity for foreign travel even foreign settlement you may get an opportunity okay so you may uh, also uh, need to curtail your expenditure that is very important do not spend too much on things which are not that necessary okay and uh, try to focus on uh, some investment okay but don't make a very uh, don't make investment which is like you know uh, try to make uh, consider making uh, short term investments that will help you even better during this period of transit okay uh, th think of some short term investments uh, instead of wasting your money or spending too much uh, th th think about making some smart short term investment uh, investment which would last just for a couple of years you can consider that and also you should think of charity helping the poor helping the physically and mentally challenged okay you should uh, tr try to do some charity help the downtrodden and you may also 
uh, like to you know uh, you may also love isolation actually uh, it is good to be in isolation if you are engaged in uh, you know constructive practices in practices or engaged in doing things which are going to uh, you know uh, improve your life the quality of your life if you are engaged in those practices which are uh, going to uh, you know uh, enhance your personality which are uh, things which are going to improve your uh, personality then those practices should be encouraged like meditation a uh, prayer service so or focusing on anything uh, on your work okay in depth study so these practices if you are uh, engaged in such constructive practices in isolation then definitely you will get very good results and you can also attain a uh, self realization uh, you can move towards even spiritual knowledge mystical knowledge also okay so uh, friends now uh, let's move on to so that's all about aquarius ascendance all right yeah you should aquarius ascendants definitely you try to engage yourself in some st in depth study okay that study may be connected to any field of your interest so do some study research investigation you know even if you like to stay in isolation do something constructive for your life now let's move on to the final ascendant pisces ascendants pisces ascendants the transit of ketu in virgo will happen in your 7th house 7th house of partnership of marriage spouse okay and also of independent business so there may be some conflicts with your spouse during this period okay you may have to go away from your spouse or your spouse may go away from you you may be physically separated or distanced okay but on a spiritual level definitely you may be able to connect with each other but there could be conflicts also at times if mercury is well placed in the chart then definitely and if the 7th lord and 7th house they are under benefic influence then you will be uh, uh, or uh, even the lagna lord and if the ascendant lord is also under benefic influence then you will be dutiful towards your spouse or if the 7th lord is also uh, in good uh, dignity your spouse also will be dutiful and you know will be very religious and uh, will be a, a person who, who believes in uh, you know uh, doing spiritual practices also so yeah i mean and you will be able to connect with your spouse even if you are away from each other uh, for some time uh, your love for each other will never diminish okay there will be a very a uh, pure soul connection between you and your spouse even if you are physically apart okay so all these things will uh, happen if uh, ketu is sitting or has transited in the 7th house and it is placed there in good dignity you should also look at the dignity of mercury in the chart now you may get the opportunity to travel to a different place to a foreign land okay uh, may mainly for your business or work you may have to travel to a foreign place or even for pleasure now um, yeah i mean uh, ketu in the 7th house uh, really wants you to be dutiful towards your spouse you have to have religious commitment towards your spouse in spite of the differences that you have in spite of the conflicts that you may uh, you know have at times all right so that is very important now during this period you may uh, you may be physically separated so that is okay if you are away for a mission then that is fine fulfill accomplish your mission and come back to your spouse in due course of time now uh, from the 7th house you know uh, ketu's aspect will also fall on different houses from the 7th house ketu will aspect your 3rd house your 11th house okay ketu's aspect will also fall on your first house okay so these houses will be influenced by ketu uh, in the 7th house so ketu's aspect on the 11th house you may be distanced from your elder siblings you may feel detached from your social circle this can happen okay 
but if mercury is well placed you will be dutiful towards your elder siblings okay and uh, what else uh, i mean uh, you may uh, not uh, like to be uh, you know in the midst of crowd okay you may feel I isolated even if you're you know in the midst of people in your social circle this can happen and so you may detach yourself from them for the time being this can happen because you may prefer isolation a little more you may want to you know a focus on your work so that also can happen then uh, ketu's aspect on uh, the uh, first house so your entire life will undergo a lot of transformation because ketu is aspecting the first house of your life okay so you uh, also can be at times you know when ketu is aspecting you will be very analytical you will analyze things okay very well and uh, you will uh, actually um, yeah you will be may, you may be interested in mystical knowledge you may be interested in any f sort of hidden knowledge okay uh, so all these things can happen uh, you may also be interested in uh, okay uh, you may be uh, you may get drawn towards technology you may be engaged in any sort of in depth study all right you may also be interested in spiritual and religious practices this can happen if mercury is not well placed in the chart then you may be lost and confused you may be directionless you may not know which uh, direction to follow uh, you know uh, what should be your purpose in life you may be confused if mercury is not well placed so in such a situation you need the guidance of a of a, some guru some teacher or astrologer who can guide you and give you a sense of direction in life um, on the basis of your horoscope all right uh, now friends uh, ketu's aspect uh, will also fall as i told you uh, on the third house okay so your younger siblings their life also may undergo a lot of ups and downs okay uh, if mercury is well placed then definitely uh, you will be uh, you will love your younger siblings okay because ketu uh, may not have head but ketu has heart ketu can feel ketu believes in compassion and charity so you will love your younger siblings if mercury is well placed also and if the third lord is a uh, third lord or third house are uh, you know uh, if third house is not under affliction and third lord is well placed uh, then also even if your lagna lord is well placed then you will be a person who will believe in being dutiful okay so you know, then you will take care of your younger siblings okay uh, otherwise uh, there could be even conflicts if they if uh, uh, you know uh, mercury in your chart is not well placed then there could be conflicts with your younger siblings you may be distanced from them totally this can also happen now if mercury is well placed in the chart you can make use of your communication skills to guide people okay you could be engaged in counseling okay you could be a teacher you can be a guide and you will have great counseling skills uh, great communication skills uh, great skills of analysis and investigation so all these things will you know uh, uh, help you to uh, you know all these skills that you have uh, these skills can definitely uh, help you to move ahead in life and they are going to enhance your personality because ketu's aspect is falling also on the third house of skills okay and uh, if uh, you know ket mercury and ketu are more or less well placed in the chart then definitely i can say look at the nakshatra also in which ketu is placed and even mercury is placed so uh, if not so well placed do the remedies for mercury and ketu okay uh, then you will see that uh, you know you will get very good results and you will be uh, you will know along which direction you need to make efforts consistently in order to reach your goal in life okay so the, all these results uh, pisces ascendants will experience because Uh, you know ketu is transiting in virgo into their 7th house so it is transiting into their 7th house uh, and you know uh, in all these different ways you know the 7th house is also the house of how you project yourself before the world okay so how the world looks at you 
सेवेंथ हाउस शोज हाउ यू एक्चुअली डील विद द वर्ल्ड ओके सेवेंथ हाउस ऑल्सो शोज द पीपल विथ होम यू डील ओके एट योर वर्क प्लेस और इवन विद इन द फैमिली यू नो इफ यू आर मैरिड दैट इज़ वाई सेवेंथ हाउस इज द हाउस ऑफ स्पाउस ओके सो सेवेंथ हाउस कैन बी कनेक्टेड टू योर बिजनेस पार्टनर और इन योर बिजनेस इवन यू नो योर कस्टमर्स आर ऑल्सो सीन फ्रॉम द सेवेंथ हाउस ओके सो दे केतु इज देयर सो वेन एवर यू डील विद पीपल पाइस इज एसेंटेंस यू नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल यू नो एनालाइज एवरी थिंग प्रॉपरली बिफोर यू नो मूविंग टूवर्ड्स एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ पार्टनरशिप whether it is business partnership or whether it is uh, the question of choosing a life partner so you need to be very careful in making your decisions uh, yeah i mean you need to analyze the things very carefully okay so all these results can be experienced by uh, pisces ascendant people all right so that was my take on uh, ketu's transit in virgo what results each of the 12 ascendants will get friends do like share subscribe and if you want personal consultation you can text or whatsapp me details are there in the video description thank you so much